Hey guys, it's Wednesday evening, June 8th, I looked at the calendar. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my neck, but I wonder if it's going to work a little bit under my eyes. This is that CBD product that uh, my friend Christine mentioned it. I'm sorry I look like hell today. It's been kind of a day. And it's been in a very, very emotional day. It's been kind of a crazy day. Anyway, <laughs> I put the CBD cream under my eyes just to try to get rid of the bags. Not because of pain. But anyway, <laughs> Christine told me to use this on my neck. Um, this stuff. It comes from Vermont, um, I forget, Vermont uh, Hemp Company or Green Mountain Hemp Company. So let's see if this helps because my neck is just breaking. <laughs> she says she lives by this stuff, so we'll see if this helps. But it's been an emotional day and I'm having trouble not crying and we're supposed to do some kind of a home project today, but I'm sorry, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I'm just asking you guys to hang out with me tonight and it's getting to be almost nine o'clock and um, I'm just gonna do my evening routine and I would really appreciate it if you guys hung out with me. So let's see, what is this? Silk Lavender Soothing Body Butter. 100 milligrams of CBD hemp cream. All right, well, we'll see what happens. My neck is just so bad and it radiates into the front of my scalp you know there's all muscles attached obviously to your scalp and the muscles on the back of your neck are so big and so strong but they also reach into the the four um in, into uh the front of your head too and they pull everything so when when some muscles are tense they pull everything else you know so I have such a headache here for the past almost three months. So let's see if this helps. <laughs> and let's see if it helps my wrinkles while I'm at it, Christine. <laughs> I already have my tea brewing. I already have my coffee brewing. Um, I'll show you guys. Come with me. Come with me, will ya? So my tea is already here for the night. Bye, steam. I will be sitting there for the night. Um, what is it? Four bit tea bags and soursop leaf. And then over here is my coffee lineup for the morning. One for like 4.30 a.m. One for like 10 a.m. ish. And one at like 2 p.m. ish sometimes. Not every day. But I do bring that third one just in case it depend depending on what my afternoon is looking like. If I know like that my afternoon is gonna need a kick in the ass, then definitely that 2 p.m. Uh, coffee is gonna happen. All right, put you guys back here. Um, I know what we're gonna do. I don't even want to make a sandwich roll up with you guys. I don't even want to make a sandwich for tomorrow. It's been one of those days that I don't even want to think about food. So, ugh. Life is just so weird sometimes, guys. I, I'm just creeped and weirded out today. But we're going to make a protein shake uh, that I'm going to take for tomorrow just in case I don't make a sandwich in the morning. And then over here, there's a pile of Amazon products that arrived today that have taken forever to come so I don't even know what's in there so we're gonna open up those boxes so hang on let me go get my um, protein shake products first actually my laundry is ready so I'm gonna take you guys downstairs to my laundry room okay so let's just go do that um, I had to wash my uniforms um, I only have one more shift left but I was out of uniform so <clears throat> that happened so we did a load and we'll just go. I fold my uniforms while they're hot 
still in the dryer, so I don't have to um, iron them. There are people who iron their uniforms. I'm not one of those people. I don't know what the occasion has to be before I take out an iron to iron anything that I wear. President will be coming, not even the president. You know what? I don't know. I don't even iron for the president. All right. Don't get freaked out by this laundry room. It's just cobwebby. It's a good washer and a good dryer, but the surrounding area is not pretty. So, yeah, don't, yeah, <laughs> I know. Don't look too much. Eh, uh, let me put you guys, I might have to just, oh, I'll put you guys right there. Uh, hi. Yeah, it's kind of an ugly environment with a lot of cobwebs. Um, unfinished walls, unfinished floor, uh, kind of half finished floor, dirty, cobwebby, but the washer dryer is okay and it's only four apartments in the building that I live in um, and I live with some good people so um, and the washer and dryer are in good condition so I'm not too worried about it. There's never been an issue that I have had to, like, uh, to do um, old stuff so you can see me. All right, kind of see me. Um, there's never been an issue that I had to wait for laundry or anything like that, you know? We all just kind of get along, and it's a clean environment, and it's all right. And it's a dollar per wash and a dollar per dry. I'm just folding some clothes. main thing is my uh, uniforms just my one uniform for tomorrow and then I have Friday off I don't know what we're gonna do Friday yet but we'll figure it out so you kind of know what I'm doing here and so I'm going to pause you guys for a moment and we will restart back in the kitchen making our protein shake. Okay, we're heading back up to the apartment. Okay, guys, we're back in the kitchen. So I got my little blender ball shaker thing. And we'll make my shake for tomorrow. Usually... It takes me two days to drink my shake. Um, this is what I use for liquid. I try to avoid dairy. Like, I don't overdo it on dairy. I, n I won't say that I never have dairy, but this is what I use instead of milk. It's oat milk, and it's vanilla flavored, and it's good. It's really good. So I'm going to make that like my regular version of a shake but it usually takes me two days to drink um, what I do is I take it to work on ice I bring it back home on ice I have ice packs and I put it back in the fridge and the next day I put it on ice again and I put it back in the fridge overnight again so just to keep it fresh so about 